Hey everybody, welcome to Fit Tip Tuesday. I am recording this early this week because Connecticut is bracing for a hurricane turned tropical storm. So I don't know how many days I might possibly be out of power. So I've decided to try to get all my things uploaded for the week early. So here we are. I wanna answer a subscriber's question about how to lengthen the rise on ready to wear pants. Now this is trickier than shortening the rise because obviously if you want to lengthen something and you only have, you know, whatever you have in seam allowances, this can be a little bit tricky. So if you have a pair of pants that you love, but they feel snug through the crotch, or maybe they're sliding down in the back when you sit, there are ways that you can help this situation a little bit, and I just wanna show you some things you can do, and I'm gonna go from least invasive to most invasive or most involved. Because if you have a pair of pants that you absolutely love, and you need, let's say, an inch or two more length through the crotch, you can actually add a gusset. So I will show you that, um, obviously adding or introducing another piece of fabric to a garment has to be done carefully uh, so it doesn't ruin the look of your pants. So I'm just going to show you a few things here. I mean, I just want to show you something you can do um, inside the garment to create more sitting room, increasing the rise. If you sew in deeper, so you can see my regular seam is here and actually I have a couple seams because I was using this to fit myself. But let's say when you sit down, your back is sliding. You can actually come in from the straight part of the back of your you know, center back seam and you can scoop down lower, go across and come up um, at the front. And what that's going to do is it's going to add length here and it's going to give you a bigger hole to sit in and just to give you a idea of how much you can add this way I'm going to measure my original back crotch length from the inseam to where I made the adjustment or where I you know to this line and I'm getting nine and a quarter inches so my original curved part of my back crotch was nine and a quarter. Then I scoop to make more room, which also lengthens the rise. Let's measure what that is. Okay, so that actually added a half an inch because now it's nine and three quarters. All right, so I added a half an inch to my rise simply by scooping down lower and you know, towards the back here. Okay, so that's one way that you can increase your rise. And if I were to mention, if I were to measure this little bit in the front, that would add a little bit as well. So think about it like this. If you scoop down like this, it brings the rise up because you can pull up your pants higher because you've created a bigger hole. So just remember, if you do scoop down like this, I would trim your fabric back to that half inch so the fabric will release and you'll get the full benefit of that scoop. Now here's the thing. If you're doing this to your pants, make sure they're not skin tight before you do this because you can see across the full hip or lower hip, I'm actually losing 3 eighths of an inch times two, which is three quarters of an inch across the back. Now, if you do that and you have some room on your side seams, you could let your side seams out through that area to create a comfortable fit. So that's one way that you can increase the rise in your ready to wear pants by scooping down. Don't trim anything until you, you know, test the fit. If this is not enough room, and you really, really love these pants. 
Another option is you can actually insert a gusset through your inseam and through the crotch to create more room. Now this is going to involve taking apart your seam. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here now. I took apart the inseam about, I don't know, six or eight inches down from the intersection with the crotch. Now the first thing is, you can see here we scooped. So just to make it easy, I am going to trim so that I have a half inch seam allowance again. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all that extra fabric front and back. And you can see it better in the back. See how much see how much extra fabric there is in the scoop. So let me just cut that off. And I'm just cutting it so it's approximately a half an inch away from my new stitching line, maybe a little bit less. Okay, so see how now I have a nice released seam allowance. So I'm just going to throw that away. All right, so if that didn't give you enough room, and again, you really love these pants, what you need to do is you need to find fabric that is very similar to your the color of your pants. So this can be easier if you have a, you know, a staple like a black pant or a navy or a gray. Um, find some fabric that is similar and what we're going to do is we're just going to create a little gusset here to increase the rise front to back. I'm just going to use a piece of this printed fabric that I had in a storage bin and it actually got water stained in places so it's like the perfect fabric for me to use for something like this. The first thing you want to do is decide how much length you want to add to the actual crotch seam. So for purposes of this example, why don't we say we're going to add an inch and a half. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just draw with Sharpie marker so you can really see what I'm doing. I'm going to draw a line across my fabric like this. And then I'm going to go and make a sort of a plus sign down the middle. All right, this middle line or this vertical line is where I'm going to attach the fabric back to the front and back crotch seams. So this is where we're going to line up with the crotch seams. So I said I wanted to add an inch and a half. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to measure up three quarters of an inch, which is half of a half inch. And then I'm also going to add a half an inch to that for the seam allowance. So I need to add an inch and a quarter on either side of this line to end up with an inch and a half when we're done. And I'll, and I'll show you that again in a minute. All right, so there is an inch and a quarter. And I'm just going to do an inch and a quarter down here as well. All right, so if we measure this total amount here, that measures two and a half inches. We're, we need a half an inch on either side to sew it to the inseam, so the end result will be an inch and a half. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure down, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to measure six inches down on this horizontal line in both directions, like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my curved, my French curve, to create a slightly curved um, line like this. Okay, and I'm not I'm not starting that at the vertical line. I'm starting it about a quarter inch or so away from that, so I can smooth it out and make it not pointy. So let me just show you here. So if I do this, whoops. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold actually. I only need to draw one line. So I'm going to fold it in half like this along the horizontal line. And I'm just going to pin it in a couple 
places here along that line. And actually, I just need to cut it and it will actually give me both sides. Let me just cut it like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut along this line until I get to my center. All right, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these pins out and I'm gonna fold it this way. Like this. Okay, so you can see I folded it on that center line. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut out the other side with my rotary cutter so I can create an even piece. So now it's symmetrical front to back and side to side. Okay. okay. All right, so here's what we have. You can see we have this little insert piece. We're gonna sew this to our pants. Only an inch and a half is gonna show um, on the right side of your pants. So if you pick a fabric that's pretty close to that your pants fabric it's not going to be that noticeable so what i'm going to do here is i'm actually going to pin the insert right sides together with the pants and i'm going to use wonder clips because wonder clips really stay nicely i'm just going to pin it right down to the end here okay like that and I'm gonna pin it along the other side. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew this to the inseam, okay? Now here's another option for you. If you have a pair of pants, and let's say you, you think you might need more than an inch and a half or an inch, and you don't want your gusset to get too um, wide, another thing you can do is you can use a stable piece of um, a stable knit would work here too. So if you have a knit that coordinates, that's a bottom weight knit that has stretch, that actually could give you more comfort in length as well. So you can see I have these pesky little points and I want to make sure they stay even with the edge of the fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my wonder tape and I'm going to use it like a little piece of, like a little tack. I'm gonna cut two little pieces of Wonder Tape. And I'm gonna stick it right where that point needs to stay put for me, like this. Okay, I'm gonna use it like Scotch tape, basically. I love Wonder Tape because now I don't have to worry about that point moving. So let me get my other one here. Let's stick it over here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it on like that. Okay, now we can sew. I'm going to bring my sewing machine over. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pants and I'm actually going to put it so the pant side is face up because I can see the seam that I took apart in order to add this gusset. So I'm going to start sewing right here and I'm going to sew along my final answer seam. So whatever I ended up with after I scooped, or if I didn't scoop and I just took it apart, I wanna sew on that seam. So you do wanna make sure your gusset is laying nice and flat. And everything's lined up. I'm going over the center front seam. 
Now I'm just gonna sew right down to the bottom of this gusset. Okay. All right, so let's look and see what we have now. Okay, you can see we've got that sewed on on that side. Now I'm just gonna literally pin it So I'm matching up my back now. I'm just, and really the thing we're gonna do now is we're just going to actually put these together. So I'm gonna clip it right here, clip my seam. So this can stay like this and this can go like that. Actually, that's what we'll do. Okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm going to clip my seam allowance where I want it to lay flat. So I can do this. Okay. So we want to make sure the front end of the gusset is laying towards the front where we clipped. So let's put this back in. I don't need wonder tape on this side because those points are already sewed down. So I'm gonna sew my inseam. And when I get to this part here, I just wanna make sure that's laying flat like that. And I'm just gonna sew right up the inseam through the back crotch. And then as I get to the other side, again, I want to make sure that this front um, side of the gusset is pressed towards the front where I clipped. And we're just going to sew right past it to finish the inseam. Okay. Let's see what we have. All right, so let's look at it from the inside first. All right, so you can see what we've added is that inch and a half, okay? And let me just turn it right side out. I would finish all those edges either with a triple zigzag or on your serger, any raw edges. All right, so you can see that we've added the length there that we wanted and a little bit along the inseam as well, which could contribute to more comfort if it was snug through your upper thigh as well. You know, the trick is gonna to be to find a fabric that camouflages with your pants fabric. So I did it in this print so you could see the total, you know, result of the gusset. All right, so that's how you add rise to your ready to wear pants. The biggest trick here is if you need to add the gusset, you really need to find a fabric that will camouflage, you know, together with your pants fabric. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I will help you. I hope you're enjoying Fit Tip Tuesdays. If you have a fitting dilemma that you need help with, please consider, you know, either putting it in the comments or, you know, sending me an email, which you can find in the description as well, um, and you may see it as an upcoming topic. On Friday this week, if I have power, we're going to be kicking off the T pattern hack attack. And I will post, um, I have, okay, so this is tough because I don't know how I'm going to, or if I'm going to be able to be live on Friday. So if I'm not live Friday, that means I still don't have power. So I'm just giving you that heads up while I have power um, to let you know that. Um, if I do have power, we're gonna be starting a pattern hack sew along, and there's gonna be three topics. I'm gonna to show how to take the T from the T twin set and make it a layering cropped T. So picture your mother's dicky or you know those those garments that you can put under a sweater that has a collar and a front and back yoke so it helps keep you warm. 
Well, I'm going to show you how to take the long sleeve T, make it crop so it stops at your midriff so you can layer it underneath something when you're when you need a little bit of extra warmth this fall and winter. So I'm going to show you how to make it into a cropped top. I'm also going to show you how to do a split sleeve with buttons going down the split to hold it shut and we're going to be modifying the neckline. So I promised everybody a poll. The poll is going to be which part of that interests you in terms of hacks and I will do them in the order in which they are most popular. Um, if I can't put up a poll in time before I lose power then I will do them in in a, in a good order. They're independent of each other so it really doesn't matter which one we do first. So basically that's what I'm going to be starting on Friday, the T pattern hack attack, where we take one pattern, the long sleeve T, and make it into a cropped layering T with a statement sleeve and a different neckline. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you're safe and sound wherever you're watching. And I hope I get to see you on Friday. So have a wonderful day. <laughs>